Hi, fifth grade. Here's our second lesson for week number 31. Um, we are going to be multiplying mixed numbers. Remember last time we worked on multiplying um, mixed numbers using the area model, and we're going to continue um, working on different strategies um, to multiply mixed numbers. So we're going to be able to solve real-world problems involving multiplication of mixed numbers by writing an equation to model the problem. Aaron paints on a large rectangular canvas that measures 2 and 1 fourth feet by 4 and 1 third feet. He wants to enter his painting into an art contest. The contest rules say that the area of all canvases must be less than 4 and 1 thirds feet. Based on these rules, can Aaron enter his painting into the contest? Explain with words or drawings. So, his canvas is 2 and 1 fourth feet by 4 and 1 third feet. It cannot be bigger than four and one third feet, right? It must be less than that. So if his canvas is two and one fourth feet by four and one third feet, well, two times four is eight. We know that this would be a four and a one third, a two and a one fourth. So four times one fourth is one. Two times one third is two thirds. And one third times one fourth is one twelfth. So we would have eight plus one plus two thirds plus one twelfth. Eight plus one is nine. We're going to regroup to change this to twelfths. So our two thirds would become, multiply top and the bottom by four, eight twelfths, and one twelfth. So we would have nine and nine twelfths. So the, and that would be square feet. That's how large the canvas he has and he wants to enter that painting in. Will he be able to enter it into the contest? No, because it needs to be less than four and one third square feet, and his is double that, right? So no, he cannot enter the contest. His painting is too large. And we can see that right here, right? Nine and nine twelfths is greater than four and one third. Okay, so just by using that area model, when we were um, learning our area model with our fractions, we were able to um, figure that out. All right. Pam draws a logo for her company's website. The logo is a rectangle that is one and one third inches wide and one and three fourths inches long. What is the area of the logo? So this, they gave us a rectangle. They didn't break it up like we would normally break it up. Um, they're just doing four unit squares in here. Um, but we're going to take our one and one third put it along one side, one and three fourths, put it along the other. So we will multiply one times one, easy enough is one, one times three, one third, one times three fourths, three fourths, and one third times three fourths is three twelfths. So now we can add all those together. So we would have one plus one third plus three fourths plus three twelfths. So we're going to convert them all to twelfths because that's what they have in common as a common denominator. So this we multiply by four, so we would have four twelfths. This one we will multiply by three, so we would have nine twelfths and then three twelfths. So we'd have one plus 
4 plus 9 is 13, plus 3 is 16 twelfths. So then we would have 1 plus 1, and if I take out a whole, 4 twelfths. So it would be 2 and 4 twelfths square inches. So that's how we get the area, right? We don't need to do all of this. The area is 2 and 4 twelfths, and we just, oh my gosh, I didn't have this under the video the whole time. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Let me go back real quick. Sorry, first. So we took our square, 1 and 1 third, 1 and 3 fourths, 1 and 3 fourths. We did our multiplication. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 3 fourths is 3 fourths. 1 times 1 third is 1 third. 3 fourths times 1 third is 3 twelfths. I wrote it as an equation to add together. I converted all of our fractions to have twelfths as our denominator, so I found I found equivalent fractions. I added those fractions up, and I got 16 twelfths. I took out one of my whole numbers, right? 12 twelfths is the same as one whole, and I had four twelfths left. One whole plus one whole, and then four twelfths, so two and four twelfths square inches. My goodness, I apologize. I've got to remember to look at the computer screen when I'm doing this, not just my own <laughs> my own paper all right so tam makes another logo the area of the logo is represented by the purple shading so we can see that we have one and one half inches by one and four fifths inch four fifths inches so what i want to do this time is i want you to see if you we're going to change our mixed numbers into improper fractions. So remember how we did that before. You take your whole number times your denominator. So 1 times 5 is 5, and you're going to add your numerator. So 5 plus 4 is 9. So you have 9 fifths. 1 times 2 is 2. Plus 1 is 3 times 3 halves. So we're going to multiply our length times our width. 9 times 3 is 27. 5 times 2 is 10. So the area would be 27 tenths. So we already did that down here. So that's what we did up there, 9 fifths times 3 halves, 27 tenths. So our answer is 27 tenths. And if I take out my whole numbers, I would have 2 wholes and 7 tenths square inches. But either answer would be correct. So instead of making your area model and breaking apart each piece, you could also convert your mixed numbers into improper fractions and multiply. And that actually will be a little bit faster than doing this. So we're gonna check for understanding. Jonah's new poster has a width of one and one fourth yards and a length of one and one third yards. We're not going to use the area model. We're going to take our 1 and 1 fourth yards, and what could we convert that to? So we're going to multiply the whole number by the denominator. 1 times 4 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So 1 and 1 fourth is 5 fourths. Then we have 1 and 1 third. 1 times 3 is 3, plus 1 is 5. 4 thirds. Now I can multiply 5 fourths times 4 thirds. 5 times 4 is 20. 4 times 3 is 12. So 20 twelfths square yards is our area. And if you want to again convert it, it would be one whole because you take out 12 from that. 20 minus 12, you would have 8 twelfths left square yards, if you wanted to.
This I will accept, but if you take it that far, then hey, bonus points for you. All right. Yeah, on your own, pause the video. You can do it independently or stay right with me. The flagpole at a park is three and one half yards tall. The flagpole at a museum is one and one half times as tall as the height of the flagpole at the park. So we're going to write an equation. So we would have three and one third times one and one half, right? So I'm going to rename these numbers. I'm going to rename this to an improper fraction. So 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10 thirds. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3 halves. 10, third, 10 thirds times 3 halves. 10 times 3 is 30. 3 times 2 is 6. So the height of the museum's flagpole is 36 yards or... 30 divided by 6 would be 5 yards. Remember this line also means division. So 30 divided by 6. Debbie measures the length and the width of a cell phone. The length is 5 and 3 fifths inches and the width is 2 and 4 fifths inches. What is the area of the front of the cell phone? Okay, so we've got 5 and 3 fifths by 2 and 4 fifths. We're going to rename. So 5 times 5 is 25 plus 3, 28 fifths times 2 times 5 is 10 plus 4 is 14 fifths. I multiply my top and my bottom, so 28 times 14. 8 times 4 is 32. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11. 8 times 1 is 8, 2 times 1 is 2, add those together. 392 over 5 times 5 is 25 square inches. And if you wanted to divide them, you could to find your mixed number. So what you would do is 392 divided by 25. So there's 125 and 39. Bring down your 2. It would be 5 25s. 5 times 5 is 25. 10, 125. Subtract. 3, 12, 7, 17. So you would have... 15, 17, 25 square inches. If you did the division that went along with it. All right, next one to multiply. 2 and 1 fifth times 3 and 1 half. So 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1. We'd have 11 fifths times. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7 halves. So 11 times 7 is 77, 5 times 2 is 10. It would be the same as 7 and 7 tenths if you did the conversion. But either answer is acceptable. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11 halves. Times 1 times 3 is 1, plus 1 is 4 thirds, 44 sixes. So 44 divided by 6 would be 7 and 2 sixths, right? Because 7 times 6 is 42. 44 minus 42 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9 fourths times 1 times 3 is 3, plus 2 is 5 thirds, 9 times 5 is 45, over 4 times 3 is 12. 45 divided by 12 would be 3, oops, sorry, 36, I don't know what I'm thinking. Regroup, 9, so it would be it's the same as 3 and 9 twelfths. 
And our very last one, an early computer connection called USB 1.0 transfers about one and one half megabytes of data each second. A later connection called USB 2.0 transfers data 40 and one half times as fast as the speed of the USB 1.0. How many megabytes can a USB 2.0 connection transfer? So this one is four and one half times as fast. So that tells you need to multiply. So one and one half times 40 and one half. So we convert this into an improper fraction. One times two is two plus one is three halves times 40 times two is 80 plus one is 81 halves. So 81 times three 243 over 4. And if I were to divide that out, I would have 60 and 3 fourths megabytes. Or 23, 243 over 4 megabytes. Either one is correct. So for your independent work, you are going to do 9.2 front and back. And when you're finished, please return it to me at school. All right. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you soon. Bye.